Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of Digital Painting Art Show. My name is Jesus Conde, and this is the art class number six. What we're going to do in this class is we're going to talk about creating uh, value concepts. Like, let's make composition using lighting and then uh, applying colors to those compositions, like, really easy to know what we're going to do later when we start the final painting. So, let's get started. Hey guys, so in this episode, we're going to do color proposals. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about lighting also. Um, basically, we're going to do the next step in this image. So the first thing that I want to do is to set up my page so I can have three uh, color proposals. This is kind of like something um, the way I could approach uh, some illustration that I have to do or something like that. So it's basically um, the next step in the in the process. So the th the first thing that I'm going to do is I need this um, little version of this drawing. So I'm just going to select everything. I'm going to press Control Shift C. That way I can copy uh, all the layers merge in just one. So when I paste it. Uh, it's just one layer as you can see here just one layer everything together all right <clears throat> next thing that we're going to do is as this is just something uh, um, it's a proposal that we're going to do is something small uh, I recommend to work in a um, little um, size because this way you don't get lost in detail so we're going to do three, so I'm just going to make it this size, and I think it's all right. I think this size is quite good. Okay, I'm co I'm going to let's take this background and make it gray. I'm going to use the the paint bucket right here, this tool paint bucket. I'm going to copy the background layer. I'm going to um, duplicate that here in this little um, icon here is for duplicating that layer and I'm going to use the paint bucket there so now everything is gray right I'm going to take the the drawing and I'm going to copy it I'm going to copy it three times I mean two times because I already, I already have one so now I have three copies of that. I can merge that by selecting all of them and pressing Control E. So with Control E, I merge the layers. So I'm going to do that again. If I even if I just click on the first one and press Control E, I merge with the second one and then press Control E again. Um, I I merge the third one. So I have the three in just one layer. Now what I want to do is, because I have these three drawings, I want to select the area around it, uh, and I'm going to use the magic wand, which is W and the keyboard. But sometimes you have the quick selection tool, I prefer to use the magic wand tool. And I'm going to select in the blank space. That means that what I have selected is everything that is not the drawings, okay? I'm selecting everything that is not the drawings. Now I'm going to go to the gray layer and I'm going to press Ctrl C, Ctrl V. And what I got is a layer that has the, um, where the image are placed, I have three holes in a square shape. If I, <clears throat> if I turn off the drawings, everything is gray, of course, but because of the layer in the background is gray also. But if I, I take off this gray background, I can see the three holes in there. So that's what we want. We want those three holes in there. Other way to do it, way simpler, could be just selecting this and erasing. But that way is kind of like to a little bit more difficult to know the size what you're going what you're going to 
to do the thing so that's what I did that with the <coughs> with the drawings obviously I did it super slow so you guys can see what I did and now uh, we want to do that a little bit darker because we don't want to uh, we want to be able to see at the image really clearly um, not black but dark uh, um, darker a more darker gray it's enough so we're going to block that layer we're going to block it here in the little lock and also we're going to block this layer but this layer should be in multiply multiply means you see the episodes before um, if you haven't seen them I mean uh, it means that everything that is black is going to stay and everything that is white is going to be transparent meaning uh, only the lines of the drawings will stay okay because of the background being white right now which is this one is the one activated with the eye because of the white background um, obviously what I have behind is white but if I create a new layer Control shift n and I paint let's say if I paint with this color <coughs> what I get is everything is painted but I keep the lines which is really important for what we're going to do right now okay so this is the first step I, I need you guys to set up your files this way anyway uh, if you are my patron you obviously you got this file um, so you should just open um, this and try to do the same thing that I'm doing just for practice okay so the first thing that we're going to do is um, doing tests with with black and white and I'm going to pick um, let me have a brush like right now we don't care about um, having transfer or anything in the brush so it could be any brush as long as it is a hard brush it has to be hard brush so for example uh, let's say that we have um, our character being dark let's make this test <coughs> Well, it has a cloak, so it probably should be this way. And I want you guys to do the same thing that I'm doing so you guys can practice. So if you haven't downloaded the files on the Patreon page, just do it so you can follow um, the exercise. <coughs> So we want to start by doing this. I know it's kind of like a slow process. Um, don't do it like, just take your time doing it. You don't have to rush. Because when you're doing it uh, slowly, you're also thinking. Obviously right now, because I'm explaining the thing, you guys wouldn't know but when you do it yourself like in your own work uh, you're going to be probably thinking at the same time what you're going to do later okay so in order uh, to your character to stand out this way you can see you can clearly see the what we're getting with the silhouette like the silhouette is right there we can see it in the middle of the page there's no problem right okay. <clears throat> but obviously having uh, a character like really dark like this um, we will need a light background what could a light background be unless that is like a super uh, white shiny door or something like that will make sense to have a um, um, really um, light background but what I was thinking is 
maybe because the background is so light it could be kind of like a window and we, we were looking at the sky somehow so this could be like some kind of a huge window maybe something like this Oops. And this way I have it I have the character also framed. We will have these leaves here. And maybe a branch, tree branch. Okay, if it's a window, maybe it should have why not? Should have a kind of like a balcony thing here. Yeah, probably something like that. Okay, that could be one way. I guess <clears throat> let's keep this in separate layer let's don't don't confuse this we have a separate layer here let's name them balcony and this one could be character one okay Another way I was thinking on um, doing this is the opposite. Maybe let's copy this. Let's copy character one layer. Let's have it here. Let's do the opposite. Let's have our character being really light. Let's make it white here. To make to make that I went to image adjustments hue and saturation and put all the white in and we go to the back right here let's change the arrangement of layers let's create a new layer ctrl shift n oops and let's do the opposite let's have it like this okay what could be a way to do this well maybe if this character has something that glows uh maybe this is kind of like a cave thing she could be really light and we could have let's use a soft brush this one something like that and let's create a new layer and let's do it with white oh, so i can just take white here with the eyedropper with the alt or the eye on the keyboard and just paint with a soft brush. Let's paint a soft stroke, something like that. Maybe, yeah. We could have something like this, yes. Why is this uh, happening? Maybe she's, um, the sword is kind of like, uh, have some kind of lighting or something. So what's going to happen if I erase here, I'm going to get some shadow effect really quick. So we need shadow under the character, something like that. I think it works. And obviously we need shadow on the character also. Let's say that the, the thing that is causing the lighting is this, this sword. But maybe it's another thing. Maybe it's kind of like um, like a magic thing. Like I don't know. We could change this. We could make this to be some kind of um, something like this. I don't know. Just trying to try something new. And because of that, we obviously need some shadow of the character here and the cloak and everything this is just to get an idea obviously we have to do this in a more uh, developed way but this is just ideas that's what ideas are for this doesn't have to be super black this can be something like this maybe Yeah. 
that could be another way to compose our character. And the third one I was thinking of, or not, something that I read on a book of James Gurney, that you can have something uh, like a tower sticking out, and you can have the light last like coming. You can have like a building, and if the, the sun is rising, and um, the horizon could make some kind of like a like a um, soft shadow in the middle of the of the object, and it's that thing is called well, he calls it half shadow. So maybe if the sun is coming from the left. It could be something like this. And we could have our character being um, like sh it's showing us showing us the character like half shadow in a half shadow way. But we will need to have like a difference between what's in the front and what's in the background. Uh, so let's copy the layer of the character, this one. No, that wasn't. Let's copy it from the first one. And let's make it white again. Let's make it white. on top of this yeah and because they are kind of like in different um, distance the shadow on the character could start in a different um, distance but just a little not too much because it wouldn't be realistic really if it's too much also there could be something blocking the light of the um, at some point uh, so it could be like there is more shadow here somehow hitting the wall but not the character too much okay so we could have something like that also a character a little and in general, the in general the all the all this wall and everything will be a bit darker. Just saying, like the values and everything. So we have another way to show our character there. Maybe the light is hitting here uh, more, um, like harder. We could also have. Maybe there's a balcony some somehow or uh, columns. We could have the light like coming in uh, somehow. Like this. Or maybe will we look will look cooler? Something like that. Because this way, if there is a lot of light here, we could have some bounce light later, like coming from the floor up. This could be darker. Okay, in the first one, the balcony one, let's say it's more like this. It doesn't have to be completely black, of course. Like this, I think is fine. The problem with this is, let's put those two layers together to make it change at the same time kind of like that she could be a little bit lit but in overall she is darker 
than the background. So yes. I don't like this black stain here. Well, if the light is coming from the back, what will happen actually is this is the, this is the beautiful thing about this that we were trying to do it with the less effort as possible. We could have the light coming from outside like this. Something like that, and obviously, new layer is going to be silhouette here, and she's going to be casting a shadow, of course. Something like that. Okay, so I have these three options. Now I have kind of, I have to decide which one I like the most. Uh, let me do a little change here. If this one, let me see what, what I did here because I don't remember exactly what happened. Uh, this will be kind of like this and we should have more light here. Um, to do this white thing that I'm doing at the moment, I'm using the O, which is Dutch tool. Is this one Dutch tool? So it burns the colors until it get them white. Okay. Obviously, and why what's going to happen maybe later is that this one, for example, we could have. Some kind of a sun flare here, maybe. This one, the flare will be this thing, which is kind of like a torch. And this one is kind of like a more um, mysterious looking atmosphere. So there's not really too much to say there. Um, Something like that. Okay. <clears throat> ah, okay. And we need the um, shadow of the character. If it's going to be like that, what's going to happen? Probably we're going to have. Oops, what happened here? Turn off some layer. Yeah. What's going to happen here is that we need a shadow. Okay, um, we need a shadow being cast. This is going to be a really soft shadow. It's going to be a self, uh, a shadow on top of her, like all over her uh, cape and everything, her armor, all the stuff is going to make a nice shadowing effect. And we need the shadow of her in the wall, like this. It's going That's going to give like the effect that is three-dimensional, that something, some distance there. Okay, so we have these three compositions. Um, this is composition mostly by lighting, meaning that it's kind of like trying to give the importance to the character using mostly lighting. 
<clears throat> let's do some changes in this one so doing this before actually painting anything could give you a great advantage in terms of uh, you will understand your is seen way better but if you don't do this like if you don't do this you will have no idea of what the result could uh, what you're aiming to like what's what, what do you want you to look at at the end in terms of value if you don't do this kind of stuff you are just lost in your painting or you don't know what you're going to be doing uh, I mean you could do it but this is just a recommendation you should okay so this is in terms of black and white all right let's save this okay so now what we should do is to get some color on this and uh, to have a ac more accurate um, feeling of this I'm going to just make this black or just darker um, and I'm just I'm just going to paint on top of everything I'm, I'm not going to use any weird techniques well I think I don't want to use any other blending modes I collapse all these layers, I select them from here, from the last one, to the first one using shift. If I, if I use shift, I select all the layers that are in the way. So that way I can select all of them at the same time. So if, if I press Ctrl E, I have them all um, merged now. Okay, we will use multiply and paint uh, in the back. Let's try that and see what happens, okay? Let's try using multiply here. And let's paint, let's say, let's just make a test. Let's use a really light color, maybe blue. Let's see what happens. Well, it's not that bad. I mean, where is why there's not going to be any problem. Problem will be on the other uh, values. Anyway, I'm going to put all that together. Let's make this completely black. And let's put these two layers together. So now they're merged. If I want to change the color of the of this outside, I just right click on it and can change it. So what I want to do is that in this one, let's make it gray. Okay. Now, let's uh, make more space. I'm kind of like claustrophobic here. I'm going to copy this. So I have it right here. I'm going to duplicate, but I need more space. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to image, canvas size. I'm going to click the arrow up because I want to affect the bottom only. I'm going to go to pixels and I'm going to go to height which is the the how much vertical is. And I'm going to put I don't know 3500 I don't know something like that yeah that's okay and now I want to cut it again because it's, there's too much space now in the bottom so I'm going to use the crop tool which is this one this button right here is the crop tool so I'm going to select this tool here I'm going to press enter now it's cropped okay so I got these two layers I'm going to select those I'm going to merge now I have this and this is going to be how I said before it's going to be multiply so now everything that I paint in the bottom is going to be affected by that layer. So I did that because I wanted to try things. For example, let's say um, this could be a blue sky, for example. This could be a blue sky, why not? Or it could be kind of like an afternoon thing 
which I already think it looks way better okay so we are just going to try ideas here this is nothing definitive so let's not give up on the blue okay so I'm going to use white to put some kind of um, like um, clouds thing going on and this one the difference will be that they they are going to be another color it could be um, kind of like brown we need some red also orange let's make something like this to see what happens something like that we should probably get some reference I'm doing this really bad, they not working with reference. Let's try, let's see what happens. So I found these two images on the internet. I'm going to kind of use the colors with the eyedropper a little. So the eyedropper is with alt. You can find your own images, you don't have to use these same ones that are on the file um, let's change things a bit so I need this kind of like a bright here we, we also want to work far away from the image so we don't concentrate on details let's put a cloud here a little bit of blue so we kind of do the same thing that is in the image, not too much Something like that, I think it's okay. Uh, let's also make some kind of like a mountains stain in the background. We have to actually look like mountains right now. And we want to remember that this is a light values that we have in the, in the background. We don't want to go dark because if 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 not, what did the bother to do the composition in black and white on the first time, right? Something like this I think is just fine. And this one let's use some some of this color. We don't need more than that. This is fine. We are fine here. With this level of detail is enough. So this feels more like a tower and something like that. This one is also a tower but it's a different feeling completely. Um also, why not? Let's try some of this color. Just put it right here to see what happens. Okay, in the ground. Um, a little bit of green, maybe. Not too much because we see what happens. It goes really dark. So we have to use light, light colors. Um, to kind of get this um, light, even even that is really dark image, completely. If we use the eyedropper on top of this, what's going to happen is it's going to go dark all the way. I'm just grabbing color from the image. If I, I just grab an orange from the sky and it painted the wall of the thing, so you're free to do whatever you want. I'm going to pick this kind of like white from the cloud to make the this door on the background white. Um, there is another thing that we could do. We could have really desaturated floor and have everything being like blue or something 
there's another approach like what are, what are these trees made of Maybe like a secret place for the elves or something kind of like a blue tree I don't know we are just trying to do something new um, she could have made this brown too light so I, I took a little bit of the color in this this dark color here with the eyedropper just put it on top and then select that new color with the eyedropper again to have a, a kind of like a brighter one um, so she could have green for what I know because he's an elf of the woods let's pick some green from the grass here a really light one this one is cool uh, maybe this kind of like a more brown color I pick some blue a little this is just tests it's not like a final thing so we want to be like super loose in the process so don't stress out we probably need the face of the girl now um, but I'm just gonna make a little palette of colors here We could have um, whoops, I painted on top of everything. Should be in the back here. But hey, look, I'm changing layers here. If I paint on top of everything I get these colors right here. So if we were using this green for the K, we're using this uh, brown uh, let's pick some blues from here some some of this gray this kind of like a darker tone um, let's put full white what other colors we need? we need a lot of colors but I think that's enough for now black right now let's have a little bit of red blend it with the skin I'm blending with the pen pressure of the pen I'm not using any tricks to put a little bit of on the oh fuck I go to the first layer I should get down a little bit of the mouth She looks really dark in here. Super dark. She could be all green here. Or all blue. Let's paint it paint her in, in kind of like a blue grayish color. Which is the opposite of orange. Let's go more light. Let's put this color on top just to have it there. I know is the difference of this with what we talked at the beginning. This is supposed to be uh, from the wood, so she should be fully um, green or something. But we are developing the idea. Maybe she's another thing. And why not? Let's make 
I create a, a new layer on top of this one, on top of the of that one to put some maybe we could have something that looks like reflections okay reflection you should reflect from the bottom like this Well, she's reflecting white right now. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm going to keep the white in there. But for now, yes. It's not complicated. It's complicated in the moment. Not right now. She'll have like a glimpse of these colors here. Obviously we're going to have kind of like an outline of this back right here. And skin color with those burn <clears throat> skin color right there. The thing with this one is that the the ears will be super blo uh, bloody like this because of the light coming from the back. Something like that, yes. Okay, let's go to the layers on the bottom and put brown here. Yeah, because the thing is this floor could be anything, could be made of little, you know, um, st white stones or something like that. This one, in the other hand, could be green. And at some point, you're going to be like, I don't feel this one, I feel this one, I don't feel this one. And we can change everything at the end, so it's not locked, okay? There is nothing locked here. We could have another green this leaves here I like in this one a lot the possibility with the colors Um, this one with the blue, I'm not sure, like, what's going on here? All this blue stuff. 
maybe the light could be warm. We have a dark background with a warm light. Let's use the colors, some green, uh, let's use darker greens. And I don't mind the the metal look on the other one. We could repeat that. We could have um, kind of like. Will be super white here because of the light and yellow. Because this is reflected, it could reflect also the darkness and everything. But reflection is kind of like its own team, so we're going to be working on that soon enough. This is reflective, this is reflective, reflecting directly from the floor. belts, all the stuff needs to be detailed but I'm trying not to make like a super long tutorial you guys get the idea and you can go ahead and take the these images from the patreon page and just try yourself uh, what you think it could be Now we can go and do some interesting stuff like adding some more detail. Like for example, this should really shiny somehow. This is like it's kind of like a study. We are trying to find something uh, before we even start to paint. We don't want to get too complex, okay? We have to try to keep it really, really simple, really loose. Um, because if we get into details, then it's going to be really hard to get out of them. Like, 
and you don't need them really like you I'm not going to do anything with that right now what I was saying about the maybe we're going to have so light so much light coming from the front with the the bounce like that we could have like some kind of like the eyebrows with white from the floor this one will actually be more like this it's half really intense skin color here little bit more of, oops that could be for the ears <clears throat> Took a little bit blue but for the eyes um, because everything in front of her will be, will be actually lit we can make um, like is reflecting something in the f in the front of her like all these colors this need to be reflective this needs to be reflective green brown all these colors all these colors should be in here because it's reflecting just exactly that something like this And this is just a sketch, you know, like it can change a lot of stuff. And uh, this is just to have kind of like an idea of everything. I'm not even joking when I say like we can change all of it. Um, because that's the idea. That's what we're doing this for. Just to have a guide and then we can change all of it just the way we want. Okay, so I'm going to post this on my Facebook page and what I, got, I want you guys to do is to tell me which one uh, wins so I can paint I really like this this to um, I will say this one we will say I like this one a lot and this one for me it's between A and D but I will leave that to you guys because I trust your judgment um, maybe I will work on them just a little bit more so it doesn't look so bad and weird <clears throat> okay so that's it Thank you very much for attending this class. I hope you will be will be able to to see the class with the files open uh, that you downloaded it from my Patreon page and follow um, the stuff that we did. Like um, not all the steps, obviously. Uh, maybe you had a little bit of trouble if it was the first time you did something like this. But the thing is that you should, if, if it was that, if it was that, you could do it again. Um, remember I've been doing this um, a lot and I know it's not easy for the first time if you haven't done this ever so don't stress and just work and trying to learn the thing that's it don't don't get frustrated if it doesn't uh, it looks awesome on the first try okay I've been there I know how it is 
So that's it. See you on the next class, guys.